right, today Chad and I are gonna be checking out and test driving uh, this beautiful and rare 1967 Pontiac Grand Prix convertible. Pontiac made the Grand Prix convertible one year only. That was 1967, and they only made 5,800 of them, uh, making this car very rare, very hard to find. What a gorgeous car, in excellent condition as well. So to find one in this shape, um, it's just super hard to find. And very highly optioned from the factory. Um, and as we get into the interior, it's all original, beautiful shape. Just a really special car. Pretty much a complete survivor car, except for one recent beautiful repaint. As we go underneath the hood, like Dalton said earlier, tons of options. This car's got cruise control, it's got power steering, power brakes, air conditioning, still has the smalls on here too. Got the emissions. This is kind of a cool little option right here, you guys. Um, just a neat little under the hood light, it's kind of an emergency light, you can take it off, it charges, you take it off and, and have it uh, if you break down. Under the trim code on this, it's 585 Special Paint. So really cool, um, special color on the paint, and a rust recall. If you go to our website, guys, coyoteclassics.com, you're gonna see that this car is 100% rust free underneath, original floor pans, frame, trunk, extensions, body mounts are awesome on this car, rust free time caps on there. The front end on this is so unique. You know, hideaway headlights. It's got the, the turn signals up here, hidden. It's just really cool. Super cool. It's almost like a concept car in the front, isn't it? Yeah, it is. First one that we've had here at Coyote Classics. Um, I don't even know if we've had a 67 Grand Prix here, um, especially as the first convertible we've had. Really neat car. Hood lines up great here on the driver's side. The back side of the hood's awesome as well. It's got nice dual exhaust, nice chrome tips. I'll tell you what, that, uh, that exhaust really bites too. I mean, it just really bites and barks at you. It sounds awesome. As we look up and down the passenger side, again, nice straight car. Back bumper is beautiful. The chrome on that's excellent. Tail pipes look nice. As far as our trunk lid, that's in excellent condition as well. Gaps are really nice on that, front to back. Tail lights are awesome on it. Really neat design there. Chrome around the tail lights look good. It does have a power antenna, it works perfectly. Fender skirts, um, again, you take them on, take them off. Either way, it gives you kind of a little different look. Um, bottom of the rear quarter is in excellent shape. As far as we go up and down here on the uh, back of the door, nice even gap. Door sticks out just a little bit here on the passenger side. Hood lines up excellent, top of the door lines up good, body lines nice there. Again, one recent paint job, I think the paint job was done a few years back. Um, really nice local car show quality driver paint job. Um, not a $10,000, $15,000 one, but really nice. All buffed out to a really nice shine. Windshield's in excellent shape. The dash pad is great, except for there's a couple little hairline cracks right here by the uh, defrost duct. Speaker cover is excellent there as well. This interior, you guys, as far as I can tell, is 100% original. It has the original carpet, seat covers, door panels, dash pad, everything. As we go in here to the trunk, um, fire extinguisher has been added, which is a great, uh, great piece to have. It's got all the original trunk spackling still in it. Again, rust-free trunk. Original jack, spare, mat, everything's original on it. The other thing that's kind of neat, comes with a really nice collection of, uh, you know, of tapes. Ooh, the old urban cowboy. Yep. Kenny Rogers, Dolly Parton. Beach Boys, and the dang thing works. Mm -hmm. So the 8-track player works great on this thing. 
I'm gonna move these up front too. So that's all there. Original jack instructions. Trunk lid has all been jammed and painted as well. Um, new rubber on the trunk lid. Now, as we go ahead and go inside this door here, it does still have the original door rubber that shows its age right here in the corner. Corner of the doors are rust free, just like the floors. Um, door panels are excellent. Power windows all work perfectly. Inside the door jam pane is excellent. Even the original kind of a rubber boot here that hides all the uh, wires and stuff is in great shape as well. Original scuff plates, original carpet. It's got the GM seat belts in the back. Door panels are excellent. There is a little stains here and there, especially right here. You can see in the pictures as well, but there's a stain here on the door panel. Um, you can tell in the two ribs here, just from the sun, it's kind of got a little brown there. But we did uh, go ahead and get this parchment interior um, completely cleaned really well, and it turned out excellent. So we talked about the dash pad having a couple little cracks way up here. Other than that, the front edge of the dash pad is perfect. The wood grain on it's nice. It's got the energy absorbing steering wheel. The car has 123,635 miles and uh, just immaculate. It's got factory air, AM, FM, radio, eight track. white top is in excellent shape it's got a rear glass window nice and tight too very possibly could be the original top most of the time on these original tops though um, these little stitching and stuff comes loose this is in great shape the back window is nice just all along the edges on both sides of the tops in excellent condition the way it fits too, I mean, it's very likely. Yeah, it fits awesome. You can tell definitely during the winters they stored it up. So I just can't believe how straight these quarter panels are. Very nice. Fender skirts fit well. The driver's side, the bottom of the front fender meets the door perfectly. Same thing here in the back of the door um, on the quarter panel. That is excellent as well. Back side of the hood fits nicely. Top of the door and front edge of the door all the way down to the bottom of the front fender lines up nice. A couple little tiny chips here in the bottom edge of the door. Driver's door panel is in excellent shape as well. Um, both of our uh, interior light lights work on the back. Original rubbers here. Battery gauge works, gas gauge works. Original radio does not work, but the power antenna does. Um, eight track works. Figure out how to use it here. So the eight track has its own deal here. That's cool. Volume and everything. It's pretty cool, huh? Really cool. This whole thing, I, I love this car. It's sweet, man. I, I went into the garage to look at this and sat behind the wheel, checked out the 8-track player worked, and just everything pretty much worked on this car. It's just amazing shape. And then to be a rust-free car underneath turned out to be a real bonus. Yeah. Which is really cool. There's not, you don't see cars like this often. 
you know, that are this rare and this original in quality. It's a knee survivor. And it was local here too, you know, within 40 miles. That's always neat. That's nice. Power windows work great. They really do. It's got a remote mirror. Um, Add-on cruise control over here. I think that works as well. We'll find out, but it definitely lights up. That power steering is nice and smooth. I just kind of want to do the twist. And yeah, you do. Real, don't you? Turn it up some. There's something like it's just nostalgic when you're in an old car and you got the old 8-track going. There's just nothing quite like it. That's sweet, huh? It's up and goes too for a big it does. car. And we got the car in, we drove it home. Um, our driver drove it home and had a trailer in it. It's just one of those things that was, like you said, it was 30, 40 miles away. So um, and he thought at the time maybe we should uh, tune up the carburetor just because it sat in the garage for pretty much all year. It hadn't been drove. So um, I'll tell you what, that carburetor's running really good now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. Oh, boy. I'm going to put some Dolly Parton, man. This is this is awesome. And how comfortable is this Pontiac, huh? Yeah, it is. It's a big boy car. Yeah, definitely. Tilt wheel also. So, I mean, like I said, it's got kind of every... Every option you can have. Yeah. Folding armrail, so you got the pretty much the bucket seats on top. Yep. Goes down the road really nice. It's 80 mile an hour. It just cruises, man. Wow. Steering wheel is perfectly straight. Alignment's nice on it. cool stuff but after you know checking this thing out a little more and driving it this might be you know one of my favorites right now probably what just as far as uh, it ain't this your favorite muscle car no but just as far as the originality you know the options you know as soon as you get in this thing you feel like you're back in 67 it goes down the road awesome yeah, I have to agree with you on that aspect plus my favorite part of this car is the front end it's like like I said earlier it's like a concept car or something it's, it's unique I love well, that's 80 mile an hour just smooth as silk down the road. This has got that little cackle on the exhaust. Yeah. I like that. Pretty hard to beat. <laughs> yeah, check awesome. this thing out on their website, coyoteclassics.com. Um, there ain't many out there for sale, and I guarantee there ain't you know, many like this one. So coyoteclassics.com. Thank you guys for watching.